Welcome to Sandbar Serenity. Today we are at the 2024 Palm Beach International Boat Show and we are excited to see some amazing boats today. So come along with us as we tour the show. All right, we're gonna walk through the Azimut S8. Just an amazing boat. They have several of them here at the Palm Beach Boat Show. We're gonna step through these and discover the S8. All right, so heading stern. Open area in the rear. Awesome seating platform. Beautiful appointments. We'll head forward and then we'll jump into the interior. Okay, so coming forward on the bow, you can see this spectacular seating area with the deck railing is gleaming in the sun. Absolutely gorgeous. Gives you almost that Titanic feeling. I could see Jack and Rose standing up here doing their thing. Very, very beautiful. Awesome layout and design. You could have a major party just sitting on the bow of this boat. Really spectacular look. And then we can see the deck up above. The fly deck will come down the port side and then we'll head in. A little bit of a longer walk than we would experience on the others. This one's an 80 foot vessel. All right, so heading inside. All right, immediately you notice kind of this calm, serene feeling when you walk in and the color palette is very neutral and beautiful. It has a very peaceful feeling. I love that. Uh, essence that you get when you walk in here. These boats feature the Seakeeper and also Volvo Penta engines. So a really, really nice layout with the main lounge seating area. And then let's step over to the helm. I also love the natural light that just keeps coming in through here and providing a lot of openness and airy feeling again with that color palette combination it's absolutely beautiful all right so triple garments across the uh, helm station we can see our volvo penta joystick throttle controls his and hers captain seats and then we'll head down All right, so on the left-hand side, we have our galley. Looks like with an oven, solid state countertops, full sinks like you would have in your house. And then I'm guessing this is the refrigerator here. There we go. Okay. So there's the stairs we just came down. Continuing forward. All right, at the end of the hallway and in the very forward part of the bow is the stateroom. Really, really nice feeling. This has that kind of luxury hotel feeling to it. You can tell all the uh, very nice materials, craftsmanship and appointments are, are just top notch. Everything has that um, top quality feel to it. Now we have a, a full bathroom, a walk-in bathroom um, with a, a standard size toilet, sink. And then just around here, we have a standing shower. All right, so then we're standing at the main master, or at least the forward berth. Now we're looking aft. There's the stairs that we came down. And here is a stateroom. 
on the port side. So you could comfortably sleep two people in here. And it has its own bathroom. Very nice. And then heading aft. We have a twin room. I'm right behind you, sir. Okay. Good. All right, and then we have a common bathroom area. Right next to the stairway. And then down here we have the main suite. Main suite. I mean, stateroom, if you will. We're immediately greeted by a large, looks like a queen size bed. Again, just beautiful appointments throughout. On the port side, nice natural light coming in through the windows. Looks like a dressing area here, small closet space. And then looking at the starboard view, this is a big mirror in front of the bed. Just a beautiful, beautiful view here, right at the water line. Looking out, I could imagine that could be somewhat onerous though as the waves are sloshing up against the side of the boat. <laughs> but here we are looking at the uh, master bath, I guess you would call it, full size. Lots of space, and that really is the difference that you notice on these larger yachts is that everything isn't so confined. You actually have walking space that you would normally expect um, in almost a, a small apartment or a house setup. So, just amazing space, use of space, innovations, full size kitchens, refrigerators, that sort of thing. All absolutely wonderful. All right, well, we will head on to the next azimuth. All right, the next one is the Azimut 72 Fly. You can see here. Beautiful vessel. We'll come up through the port side, walk up these nice stairs on the teak decking, and we'll walk forward first, take a look at the stern here. Really nice undercover seating area which is great. Then we'll walk forward and take a look at the bow and then we'll do the interior again. So just an absolutely gorgeous boat, teak all throughout, beautiful seating area here. Really, really large and expansive. Again, that Titanic deck rail up front. Rose and Jack enjoying this. And then a beautiful view of the boat here. We can see the S8 next to the Fly 72. All right, we will come down the starboard side and head on in. There we go. All right, a much different feel on the interior of this one. This one has lots of different areas. So, for example, we had in the main lounge back there, we had a good seating area. Here we have the kitchen, a dining table. And then here we have another uh, seating area right across from the helm. So the helm has dual screens as well as dual seats. Again, Volvo Penta powered. And then really, really nice seats. So very, very well done interior. I like the different seating areas that you have. 
where you can entertain guests in a variety of ways and everybody has access to the kitchen. All right, so we'll head down. Okay, heading towards the forward berth. Nice size, this is like a, a queen. Really nice and comfortable in here. Very spacious, nice feeling. And we've got uh, a sink, again, a full bath. And a full size toilet. Then we have another berth, another stateroom actually on the port side. All right, so heading back, we just came down those stairs. Here is another stateroom with twins. Very comfortable for two people. And then the master stateroom down here. All right, again, very, very large and spacious. Really nice feeling, light and airy, wonderful color palette. We'll get a good view over here of this room. Really nice space. Very comfortable on any sort of trip, especially if you're heading to the Bahamas or um, to the keys anywhere that you're leaving going on a, a nice destination trip this would definitely keep you very very comfortable and happy um, teak flooring in the shower full-size shower dual sinks excellent you rarely see that even on the larger ones all right so let's head on up all right heading back Heading on to the next azimuth. So this is the azimuth Verve 42. We have triple 400 V10s across the back. This one is more of the day boat category. So you can see we have the sides that uh, descend down provide that extra entertaining space. This is a really huge open space on the interior here underneath the hard top. Also has the rear sunshade, which is fantastic for providing that extra coverage to guests that are in the back so they don't get fried. I absolutely love that. Have it on my boat. Don't want to actually ever own a boat without it again. I made that mistake the first time around and I'm not doing that again. So the Verve 42, really nice and spacious, really beamy boat. So here we have uh, three chairs across, which is awesome. So you can have the wife, a friend, someone else along with you, and you've got access to all of the boat controls and gauges. We've got, uh, looks like twin 20 inch um, Raymarine screens, along with joystick piloting, digital throttle controls, and then also air conditioning, which you can feel blowing down right through um, the uh, uh, top there, right onto the captain's chairs. We'll head uh, down and then we will go forward. All right, so heading down, we are immediately greeted with the uh, kitchen area to the left. We have the forward bow area, seating area, which is really nice. We have about a six and a half foot ceiling and then a very large seating area. Really cool, nice and comfortable. And I'm sure the table comes down so you can then put a pad on there, which there it is on the floor and make that into a berth if need be. Here's the bathroom, nice vessel sink, toilet. And then there's your full standing shower which is about seven feet. It's a rainfall shower, about seven feet up. So perfect for 
being able to take a shower and not hit your head or your hands as you're soaking off. And then we have another stateroom back here, which easily fits two people as they have it made up. It's about six and a half feet long. So right underneath the helm area there. So really nice appointments for a 42 foot boat. I like it. In the kitchen you have your Kenyan uh, grill, sink. A little bit of a cheaper feel to this boat, unlike uh, what we were experiencing on the other azimuths. This one is still very, very nice though, as a day boat goes, this is spectacular. All right, let's head forward. All right, we've got a very nice sun pad up here, which easily would fit four people across. Front seating area in a nice U shape, which is very helpful for the social environment. And that's really what you're up here for. You're up here to have fun, sit out with your friends, family, and enjoy the time on the water and be together. And this definitely provides that level of access, which is really what you're looking for. So I like that about this. Very, very nice and open. All right, well, that's the Verve 42 from Azimuth. Let's head on to the next one. All right, this is the Azimuth Magellano 60 with a 16 foot beam, 60 feet, seven inches. All right, so heading into the Azimuth, you can see this amazing seating area aft with opposing couches. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this area because it's undercover and you can just really, really enjoy sitting out, listening to the waves under, you know, protection from the sun, from the hard top. And then you can head forward if you want to get exposed and have a little bit more fun on the bow. As we're heading up the starboard side right now, you can see the forward seating area really really large doesn't have the <laughs> jack and rose railing like we saw on the other azimuths but still plenty sufficient if you want to go flying so here we are coming down the port side really really large area here absolutely love it would love to be out on the water on this and this is the magellano 60 we're coming down the starboard side actually the port side now and we'll head inside All right, and we're immediately greeted with the kitchen on the port side. And to the starboard side, we have uh, a preparation area with a swiveling TV. And then uh, a full um, couch for really a nice social area. Great carpet on the floor. Good feeling underneath your feet coming up to the helm station. And you can see how inviting this is for conversation and with the large windows that allow in a lot of the natural light. Oh, there's just a and then the helm station has twin ray marines. Yeah. All right, so the helm station with a traditional wheel, the um, captain's chairs, which is awesome to have the wife sitting next to you and then heading down really really nice carpet they did a great job this is probably some of the best carpet that i felt on some of the larger yachts all right so we'll head forward and a, a nice uh, berth up here uh, for a 72 this is like a full queen so really good size very nice to um, have full space for two people to be able to sleep on this. You usually don't find that in a forward berth, but this one absolutely has that. All right, and then right next to it, you have another stateroom uh, with twin bunks. And then a bathroom here, full standing shower. And again, this is about seven feet to the ceiling. And then heading back. We have another full-size bathroom here 
The toilet is underneath the uh, seating area on the teak. And then the master stateroom. It's like a, a queen size mattress with a seating area. And then an uh, area where you can get ready, dressing area, closets, closets and TV. Very, very nice boat. All right, and then heading back up the stairs. What a beautiful boat. All right, this is the Azimut Fly 53, 55 feet, 16 foot beam. Really nice seating area stern. All right, this Azimut 53 runs just under 2.5 million. You have this amazing seating area with opposed couches. Dual captain's chairs, looks like 20 inch Garmin's. All right, and then we'll head down. We have our forward stateroom. The nice queen size mattress and a full bath, standing shower. And then heading back, we have our master bedroom. Which is really nice with this couch over here to sit and relax. You have the natural light coming in from the windows. You have a king size mattress with a TV, sound bar. Just beautiful light and airy feeling. You could really do some serious cruising in this. And then this leads forward where we just came. And you have one more cabin with twin beds in it. All right. All right, then heading forward on the 53. Really narrow walkway, but a very nice seating area up here again with the uh, Jack and Rose railing. Definitely you can do some flying up here if you want to. Amazing, amazing boat. All right. I think this will wrap up our time with Azimut. And we'll move on. Absolutely gorgeous boats. Really enjoyed the Azimut walkthroughs. And just the exquisite craftsmanship and quality that these boats feature. Really, really undeniably top of the line. Absolutely beautiful. All right, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Palm Beach International Boat Show. We saw some amazing boats today, had an awesome experience. I highly recommend anybody to come to the Palm Beach International Boat Show. It really is top notch. If you haven't experienced it, you definitely need to. And if you ever get the opportunity, tour all the boats that you can because the knowledge and information you'll gain will be second to none. Again, thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment.